Andrew Murphy, Baker Institute, University of Melbourne. Controlling hematopoiesis to treat cardiovascular disease. Okay, thanks for the invite. So my lab looks at um, how different diseases and, and risk factors associated with cardiovascular disease influence the hematopoietic stem cell system to produce more monocytes and neutrophils and, and platelets which can impact on atherosclerosis. And so um, large you know, meta-analysis of clinical studies have shown that more white cells basically equals more cardiovascular events. And we've proven this in preclinical models. And we've certainly shown that the regression of, um, or, or, the, or the decrease of these cells can lead an atherosclerotic lesion regression. And so I'm gonna just talk a bit, a bit about what happens in the setting of diabetes. Um, so we sort of have this novel hypothesis that the body actually senses glucose by the innate immune system, that being the, the neutrophil, because these cells are very glycolytic. And so they're basically at the mercy of their ambient glucose conditions. And so what happens is once these cells start to become highly glycolytic, they make this protein called S108 and A9, which we've shown travels to the bone marrow to stimulate the hematopoietic system to produce more monocytes, neutrophils, and that this goes in um, and activate or, or stimulates the atherosclerotic lesion. And so we've got a drug um, that we've been, we've gotten from a Swedish biotech company called Active Biotech that can block the um, function of S100A9. So um, if you look in the, the black line here on this graph, this is a, what a chronic diabetic would look like. So very high glucose levels. But obviously in the clinic we're treating um, blood glucose levels very effectively these days. But yet there's still lots of day-to-day -day and you know, hour-to-hour -hour fluctuations, especially after you eat a meal. And so we've developed a mouse model where we can spike glucose to sort of reflect this. And so you can see in the, in the red lo um, lines here in this graph that, that if we spike the glucose levels, um, just, just one day, so four times one day, and look, seven days later, we have more monocytes in the blood. If we do this for a 10-week period um, in an Apoi knockout mouse, we can see that compared to a chronic diabetic mouse, that you have the same level of atherosclerotic lesions, and that this is um, rage dependent, so um, the receptor that's, um, that, that, that targets S100. So when we use this um, drug, this small molecule inhibitor S100A9, in our atherosclerotic glucose spike model, we can basically attenuate the, the monocytosis, the neutrophilia, and these re reactive, um, reactive reticulated platelets, and that leads to lower atherosclerotic lesions. So now our, our aim is to, to develop um, a more targeted um, drug to, to this S100A9 molecule. Um, thank you for your attention.